Globo Product Options Shopify. In this video, we are going to be talking about Globo, one of the greatest product options app that you can get on Shopify. And I'm going to be going through all the ways on how you can utilize it for yourself and all of the different product options and variants that you get for yourself. So to start things off, what we're going to do is we're going to come over to our Shopify store. Now in our Shopify store, what we are going to want to do is we're going to want to make sure that everything is fully set it up. And once everything is fully set it up and up to par, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the add apps section. Now in the add app section, what we're going to do is we're going to move over to Shopify app store. And once we go over to the Shopify app store, we're going to search for Globo app. Okay. Now the Globo app is pretty straightforward. It comes right in front of you. So let me show you how you're supposed to search it up and install it. So once your app store loads up, you're going to go ahead and write Globo. Okay. And once we have written Globo, it should generally show us the search results right under here. Okay. Now in the case, it doesn't just search Globo in. And once we search Globo in, as you can see, you get a lot of applications over here, but this is what we're looking for. Globo product options variant. So you can add variant options for customizable products and personalize your products in your own way, however you want it to be. So once we're over here, we're going to click on install. Now, the fun thing about Globo is it's specifically built for Shopify and it has great reviews around 4.8 ratings and five stars, which is pretty incredible. So once we're over here, we're simply going to wait for Globo's apps to load up. And now it's going to take us to the onboarding process that comes with Globo. So in the onboarding, first of all, it will take you to Shopify to actually install all the things that you need when it comes to getting an application. So we're going to go ahead and click on install. And once we've clicked on install, it's going to go ahead and do its thing. And once it's done, it's going to start loading the application and redirecting us to the actual option set to the actual option sets that we get in the admin. So we're simply going to wait for things to load in quickly. Now, once we go through with all of that, it's going to start giving us the pricings where it gives us all the features of different, you know, aspects and niches that we get in Lobo. So you have the free plan, which is obviously my current plan right now and the one we're going to be working on. But you also have the premium plan, which goes up to 1075 per month and the pro plan, which goes to 2075 per month. Pretty great pricings and it's really good to work with. And on a yearly budget, you can actually save 16% for yourself. So it obviously depends on how you choose to approach this. Now, once you have configured your plan and decided what you want to work with, what we're going to do from here is we're going to go into templates to actually see what Globo provides us and what Globo is actually about. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on continue as free down here. And once we click on continue as free, it's going to bring us over. Now over here, what we are going to see is a lot of different products. Okay. So these are templates for different types of products. So you could have, you know, maybe a sh shirt store where you're selling jerseys. You could have a fast food chain, an e-commerce store that sells glasses, keychains, phone case, whatever you have. So, I'm going to keep it simple right now. Let's go ahead with mugs. So let's say I want to use the template for mugs right now. And once we open this up, it's going to give us this type of look. Okay. So it gives us all these elements on the left hand side where we can add more elements for ourselves. Now that element could be text, drop down, heading, divider, paragraph. And I'm going to be showing you how you're going to work with it. So as we can see, these elements are already added into our design. So let's say I want to go ahead over here and delete a subset from this place. Okay. So I want to go ahead into the style section. Okay. And once we go into the style section, we have all these different variants. Now you can choose to delete any one of them if you don't like them. So let's say I don't like the Stein cup that we have. Okay. So I'm going to go over here. And we're simply going to click on delete. And what that will do is it will actually delete the whole Stein cup from our variants. And then you can also go ahead and choose to add 
all the different types of elements for yourself, okay, for your sake on however you want to work with your, you know, different product options that you give to your audiences, all right? Then moving on, we have more things like size. So you could maybe want to add more sizes for yourself. Okay. So for that, again, we're simply going to come over to add element. Once we go over to add element here, you have a lot of things to add for yourself. So, you know, it could be a text, it could be a heading divider, whatever you have. So I want to add some, you know, line of texts. So I'm going to come over here to the text section. And once we go over to the text section, we're going to click on it. And once you click on the text section, what it does from there is it will add a random text over here. And you can actually choose to add this right under size. All right. So what you're going to do is you're going to hold it and you're going to drag it right up to the size section, which is pretty incredible that it allows us to go ahead and edit it to this caliber. Now, moving on from here, when we have talked about moving, you know, our text in some certain place, we can also go ahead and add different format images for ourselves and we can see them in different views. OK, it all depends on the type of look we want to go with and the type of variance we want to add for our products. Now, you can also manually set a product for this. Obviously, this is the most important step because whatever product you choose will be needed to be manually set it up by you for the store, you know, so people actually know what product this variant is for. So currently, I don't have any product, but if you have a product, it's going to appear here and you can manually set up these variant options for that product. OK, so once you've created a template, what we are going to do is we're simply going to select a product for ourselves and then we're going to finally apply it. So I'm going to create a product and I'm going to apply it to my product set and then we'll get right back into the working of Globo. So I've just created a product and once the product is done, we're going to switch to manual search the product. And once the product arrives in this section, you're simply going to click on it and click on add. Now, once we have done that, simply click on save. And what this will do is it will keep a proper product line for the options that we have created in the template. Now, once we've done all of that, simply click on save. And once you have clicked on save, this basically saves your template. Now you're going to have a saved template in the template section. Okay. And you can find them down here in custom templates that we've created for ourselves. Now, moving on, there's also a few settings you can choose from. So you can choose a default preview for yourself. OK, so this is currently the default preview and you can play around with this from this section. So you can choose to centralize the text. You can choose to add different integrities in the widget positioning. So I'm going to keep it on below product variants because that's a default and I'm going to keep it on default right now. Then we have collection page, which is showing widget on quick view on your collection page. I'm, I'm going to keep this on and you can scour through the settings, whatever works with you. You can keep that for yourself. Now, one more very important and vital step is the theme setup. OK, so basically you're going to need to embed your Globo into your theme. So we're going to click on go to theme editor. And once we click on go to theme editor from here, what we're going to do is it's going to give us a few options and widgets to actually interact with. And whatever steps it gives us, we're going to need to go through with them because we have to embed our global into our page, because without that, our product variations will not appear. So as we can see, we're simply going to turn this on, click on save. And once we have done all of that, now if anyone goes ahead to my product and they click on it, they're going to be seeing different variants and different options that I have used with Globo's theme. So as we can see now, the app embed is activated. And if I go over to my store, it might not immediately take effect. It might take a few seconds to actually get into effect. But if anyone goes into this section, they will see Globo's product options and variants. So that 
is global product option app for Shopify and this is how you're going to use it with all of its features. Now if you enjoyed this video please do make sure to drop down a like and subscribe to the channel and if you want to see more videos like this in the future do let me know down in the comments below and I'll be making a whole lot more for you. Till then that is all from me and I will be seeing all of you in the next video. Have a great and incredible day. Goodbye.